What's going on guys, Greg here. I got another video for you today. Uh, today is a Saber Forge ASP Saber. Um, I know it's been a while since I've done a video. It's just, I've, it's senior year, I'm, I'm pretty busy. I have my capstone. Uh, I'm an engineering major, so we have to design something throughout the year. And uh, so I just, Saber's kind of take a back door for a little while until I get settled. I have a few coming up, but you know, I'll save that for another video. Uh, so today's Saber was actually previously installed uh, by Rick, I'm going to keep his last name private, and he basically asked me to do a review of his install and reveal it for his son, Ricky, who's, who this is going to be a birthday present for him, so as I understand it, Ricky is going to uh, go to a fair and then be knighted with this saber, so which is a, a pretty cool pretty cool birthday present so happy eighth birthday to you ricky um and i'm just going to kind of show you what this saber is all about so this video is for you uh what it's all about kind of give you a little bit of, of details on it and just kind of how to use it and, and how to enjoy your first lightsaber uh so yeah so just for for technical things internally we have a nano biscotti v3 uh, a yellow led with yellow flash and clash it's all just one one color it's a 20 millimeter bass speaker and then two sound fonts for you there's one ob1 sound font so it's kind of based off of ob1 and then it's one sound font that was a custom sound font for me called ascension and it was done by my friend keenan over at kaseth saber fonts uh, he did that a while back and it's it's my absolute favorite font, so I figured you should get that, and I have a special font. Uh, so for Rick, you pop the SD card out, you can get a, an SD card reader to plug in your computer, and you can mess with things there, you can view the manual or contact me, and we can kind of go over how to do that. But hypothetically, you should never have to do this, the saber should be good to go out of the box. Uh, one side note, it is going to be quieter right now because of the fact that I'm, I'm in a house that's where I live this year and so I have nine other people and I don't want to piss them off by buzzing a saber around. Um, so that being said, we're going to get it fired up. Again, just a happy birthday, Ricky. Uh, I really hope you enjoy what your father did for you. I think it's really awesome that he uh, that he, he, he put this together for you. And like I said, he did a very good job installing this. He... Uh, I said he, he did he did awesome. So, without further ado, here is your first sound font, which is an Obi Wan sound font, I believe. May the force be with you. Okay, so in order to operate, you're gonna have this thing right here as a kill key. It shuts off all the power to the saber. You pull it out like I did, and it stays out, goes to the side, and then you can turn the saber on by just pressing the button. You don't want to hold it, just to press. So. press and hold to turn it off. Um, I forgot to add that I just popped my own blade plug in here. This is, it's, it's mine. I'm just going to take it out before I send it back to you. Um, but it was just so you could kind of keep the, the light from, from blinding anybody. So now you have two sound fonts and like I said, you press and just press to turn on, press and hold to turn off, and now if you want to switch between the two sound fonts, you press and hold until you hear a beep, so. And then you can let go and listen to the second boot sound for the other font, and the same thing. And this is Ascension, like I said, this is my favorite sound font, uh, Kina did a great job. press and hold to turn off and again so that's all it is is press to turn on press and hold to turn off and we're going to switch again may the force be with you and there you go that is how you operate your saber when you're done with it kill key goes in 
like so. Uh, Rick, you have the charger for this, and if not, you can grab one off of the custom saber shop. Uh, let's see, anything else about this saber? Um, oh yeah, so uh, I'm assuming you have an Allen key. Uh, you have two set screws. You do not want to touch the bottom one. You want to only use this. Touch the top one counterclockwise. Enough till it's loose. Pull it out. Then saber, or the blade plug comes out. And then you can put a blade in. I don't have one currently at school, but that's how you do that. Okay. Uh, and that is about it. So, Ricky, like I said, I hope you really enjoy this. I hope you had a great birthday. Uh, happy 8th birthday. Uh, Rick, again, great install on this. You did an awesome job. And I think your son's going to be proud of you. And, uh, and yeah, guys, so that's going to do it. And, yeah, so thank you and have a good day.